तो हमने कर लिया था मैग्नीफाइंग द नंबर राइट एंड रियल नंबर एंड डेसिमल एक्सपेंशन आल्सो वी हैड डन दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई हैड गिवन यू दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर होमवर्क वर यू एबल टू डू दैट 0.001 बार ओवर यस मैम मैम आई वाज एब्सेंट इन द लास्ट क्लास सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डन दिस so you sh you should follow up the videos which we have the recordings available in the visa okay we can check those videos still if you have doubts in that you can any time you can reach me yes ma'am i am just finding my book <laughs> i'm getting my book okay Let's do now the rationalizing part. Now suppose, Susan, if you are given numbers like this, now how do we add the irrational numbers? Okay. Add. This is just an example that I'm taking from your book. Add two root over or two into root over two plus five into root over three. And root over two minus three root over three. This we will learn today. Okay. Now add this number. Two into root over two plus five into root over three. Two plus root over two is coming. We just write it down. Okay. Now since see here, children, I can see this root two root over two. I'll just open this bracket and write all the terms like this. Okay, I'm not just putting the brackets because there is no point putting the bracket when we have plus sign here. Okay, so what I see now, I see that this term and this term has common root over two, is it? And this term and this term. Are looking similar, is it? So what will I do? I will take these two terms together, similar looking terms together, and here also I will take <coughs> similar looking terms together. See how I am doing. Then I have I can take root over two out. Okay, inside I am left with two, and when I take root over two outside, I am just left with one inside. And here also, I can take root over three out, and I have five left here, and I have three left here, right? So that means root over two, and this is inside three. Two plus one gives me three. And this is root over five. Five minus three gives me two. So that means my final answer becomes three root over two plus two root over five. Okay. Okay, not root over five. This is root over three. This is your three. Yeah. Okay. This is root over three. I hope you have understood this. <coughs> okay, let's take some questions from the exercise. Right? Okay, exercise में जाने से पहले let's take some more questions from the example. Let's take from uh, this root over three plus root over seven. The whole square. Now this is children. You can see this is in the form of a plus b the whole square, is it? So we can expand this thing in terms of like this. How do we expand this identity? A square plus two ab plus b square like this. So that means here a is root over three and b is root over seven. So in place of a, I will write root over three plus root over seven. The whole square. Can you expand it? Can you expand it? Three plus two. Two, two into square. Two into square. Ah, but you do and get your answer. Tell me your answer. Do first. It is three plus two into root uh, three into root seven plus seven.
what do you get finally? Mom, 10 plus 2 into root 3 into root 7. Ma'am, will it be 12 into root 3 plus root 7? Yes, it's 10 plus 2 root over. How much is that? 10 plus 2 root over. Let me check what is that. Root is 2 into root 3 root 7, right? Yeah, so that will be root, that much only. Okay, so this becomes 2 root 3 root 7. Plus, this is root over 7, root 7. Okay, so this becomes 3 plus 2. Now, here, this is also inside the root, so we can just multiply them. 7 3 is 21. Okay, so root over 7 is 7. So, 3 plus 7 will be 10. 10 plus 2 root over 21. This is your answer. Okay? I hope you have understood this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'll give you one question. You must try this. These questions are pretty easy. Isn't that? 3 plus root over 2, 2 minus root over 2. These are all identity based. Now what identity will this follow? How does it look like? Ma'am, A plus B into A minus B is A square minus B square. Absolutely right. Okay, A plus B into A minus B is a square minus b square. So do it then. Now it will be 3 square minus square root 3 whole square. Huh. So it will be 3 minus 3. 9 minus 3. Yes. So the final answer is 6. Yes. Okay. Are all getting the same? Let others also do. Let's check the answer from them also. Yes, Yukta, are you understanding? Yes, ma'am. Rohit, Harshit. Yes. Jitendra, Sampat. Are you understanding yes, this question? Yes, ma'am. Do this also. One is the answer three. The answer is three. Let's check yes. with others also. What others are getting? Ma'am, it's three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Okay. Ma'am, should you answer the following questions? Yes. Ma'am, should you answer those questions? This question, you want yeah. to answer this one? Okay. No, ma'am, should we? This one? Ma'am, square root 5 and square root 2. So, this see, you can see here, this is in the form of A minus B into A plus B. Right? 
So this identity, this is. Ma'am, I'm asking that should we solve and give the answer? Yes, that's what I want. Okay. Ma'am, can I tell the answer? Ha, tell me. Ma'am, it's three. Great. Okay. So, children, see, we have studied all the properties of rational numbers and irrational numbers. Okay. Before we do the rest of the questions of this exercise, I want to discuss that in a nutshell. Let's, you know, just quickly revise the properties of rational number. What happens when we operate two rational numbers together? What happens when we operate two irrational numbers together? What happens when we operate an, a rational number with an irrational number? Are you understanding? Are you understanding? Yes, so let's make yes. a tabular form. Let's make a tabular form. This is to be considered important. Okay. Please make it in your notebooks. This is operation. Operation means operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division like that. Okay. Subtraction, multiplication, then we have division. Okay. So this is when we operate on rational and rational numbers when we have two rational numbers and I, we can we perform some operation on them operation when we add two rational numbers when we subtract two rational numbers so what outcome do we get that we will discuss here okay then we have irrational and irrational if we operate any operation between two irrational numbers then we have when we operate between a rational number and an irrational number, a number rational hoga or an irrational number hoga. Okay, such type of numbers. Then we'll see what sort of outcomes we get. So tabular form. Okay. Now see. Please pay attention. See now. We will understand what is the outcome of this output. When we do this, so what is the output? What is the result? That is the output. When we add two rational numbers, okay, let's suppose let's take, take small rational numbers, 2 plus 2. When we add two rational numbers, ko add karenge, then what we will get? 4. Okay? Rational. That means our output is rational only. Okay. When we subtract two rational numbers, Koi bhi rational number hum subtract karte hai. What do we get? Again a rational number. Is it? Okay. When we multiply two rational numbers, what do we get? Again a rational number. Is it? When do we when we divide two rational numbers, what do we get? What do we get? Rational okay. So we have seen that in all these operations, we are getting rational number only. So that means when we perform any operation on rational and rational numbers, that means the outcome is always rational. Now let's see what happens when we have two irrational numbers. So in case of addition of two irrational numbers, that is suppose if we have root over 3 plus root over 3. So that will give us 2 root over 3. <laughs> so what happened? Irrational happened. फिर ऐसे ही हम और देख लेते हैं जैसे सपोज रूट ओवर 3 प्लस माइनस ऑफ रूट ओवर 3 तो ये क्या हो जाएगा दिस विल बी जीरो तो जीरो तो रैशनल नंबर है है ना सो so, देखो एक ही एग्जांपल में एक हमें इरैशनल भी मिल गया एंड वी गॉट इरैशनल नंबर आल्सो दैट मींस व्हेन वी ऑपरेट एनी ऑपरेशन ऑन टू इरैशनल नंबर्स दैट मींस आवर आंसर कैन बी आइदर रैशनल आल्सो इट कैन बी इरैशनल आल्सो इजंट दैट अब यहाँ भी देख लेते हैं root over two minus root over two करके देखेंगे तो still we are getting rational rational number okay यहाँ भी करके देखते हैं root over two into root over three will give us root over six okay but if we multiply root over two into root over two we will get two so two is rational okay are you finding the difference 
So if we have two irrational numbers dividing, that means this is again an irrational. Okay, but if we divide root over 2 by root over 2, we get rational. So what did we observe in this case that the outcome can be rational also and or it can be irrational also. It can be both. Okay, either of the two it can be. But in case when we have we had rational and rational only, the outcome was always rational. Okay, now let's see when one number is rational and another is irrational. Okay, so if I take 2 plus root over 3, so 2 plus root over 3 to yehi rehega na. That means it's irrational. Okay, let's take 2 minus root over 3. It will be irrational only. Okay, 2 into root over 2, again irrational only. Isn't that? 2 by root 3, again irrational. So here we observe that if we take two, if we operate on one rational number and another irrational number, the, our answer will always be irrational. You got this point? Yes, children? Yeah. Who is this? Okay, I hope you all have understood this. So you must keep in mind these things, okay? Whenever we have two rational numbers together, and any operation done on that, our outcome is always rational. When we have two irrational numbers of being operated together, our answer can be rational, it can be irrational also. But when we have rational and irrational, then the outcome is always irrational. Right? So that means when we have same types, our answer is rational. When we have uh, here, same types here, if this is it, two irrational types together, then it means our answer is mixed. Okay, it can be rational, it can be irrational. When we have here rational and irrational, our answer is irrational. Okay. So, keeping this in mind, we do some sums. Okay, now check whether... Check whether 7 root over 5, okay, let's see whether they are uh, irrational or not. Okay, 7 root over 5, what is this, rational or irrational? What is this, rational or irrational? Irrational. Rational. So, root mm -hmm. 5 mm -hmm. kya kya na? to find the value of root over 5 of the number line. So, that was irrational. Okay. So, root over 2, root over 3, root over 5. Because these were all irrational numbers. Okay. So, 7 upon root over 5. This is what? What will you do? You see, in this case, when we have irrational number, hota hai, what do we try to do? We always try to make the denominator as irrational uh, rational number. Okay, we try to rationalize the denominator. How do we rationalize the denominator? If we multiply root over 5 with root over 5. So what will happen? From the denominator, this root over 5 will be gone. Okay, we will get some rational denominator. Okay, so this is to form the simpler form of this. Okay. So, this will be irrational number again because we have root over 5 here. Okay. Root over 2 plus 21. What will this be? What is this? We have one rational number and one irrational number. Some irrational. Yes, we have irrational number. When you operate on irrational and rational, so, you have all irrational outcome. Is that? Okay. So, aapne, uh, if you remember that thing, you can quickly <coughs> write down your answer. Next is pi minus 2. Now, you all know that pi is an irrational number. So, most irrational number may say even if I less 2, so number will remain to be irrational only. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Any doubts in this? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
everyone is able to understand yes okay. ma'am okay okay let, let's do some more sums here rationalize the denominator Jabhi hamare paas denominator mein koi rational, irrational number hoga, then we always try to rationalize it. Okay? Jaysay hum kisi answer ko ek simpler form mein rakhte hai, the final answer is always in the simplest form, lowest form mein hota hai. As in the case of irrational numbers, we always try to keep the denominator as a rational number. Okay? So, in any case, if we get irrational number in the denominator, it's we have to make it to rational. So, let's do with 1 by root of the 7. <laughs> now, we have to rationalize the denominator. Now. To rationalize the denominator, how do we rationalize it? We can bring it to 7. Now, the denominator is rationalized. And for 7, banane, what we need to do? We need to multiply with root over 7 only. Right? So, whatever number we multiply with, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number. So, now our numerator will be root over 5 and our denominator is now rationalized. Isn't that? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, 1 upon root over 5 plus root over 2. Now, how can we rationalize this? So, see here. Now, we rationalize karne ke liye, Did you see that the questions you have done this time? What was it? We were rationalizing it, no? See here, what were we doing? Isko aise kiya, so we got, this was the rationalized form we were getting. So, same thing we will do in the denominator now. We want to rationalize the denominator. So, to rationalize the denominator, we will multiply this with the opposite sign. We root over 5 plus root over 2. So, now we will multiply it with root over 5 minus root over 2. So, that and whatever we multiply with, we have to multiply the numerator also with the same number. So, in the numerator, you will have same when you multiply this with 1. But in your denominator, what do you have? This will be in the form of a square minus b square. So that is root over 5 square minus root over 2 square. So here you get root over 5 minus root over 2. This is 5 minus 2 which will give you 3. So yeah, our final answer will be root over 5 minus root over 2 upon 3. I hope you have understood this. Yes ma'am. See I am doing showing you some sums, the remaining sums of the exercise that you have to do it last time. Right? Now let's do this one. 1 upon root over 7 minus 2. Now we have to rationalize this. Okay. So same is the process. Just say we have opposite to multiply. Just same here we will do. We will multiply with the opposite of this. Okay. So that we get in the form of a square minus b square. Okay. <coughs> so in the numerator we have root over 7 plus 2. And in the denominator, we have root over 7 whole square minus 2 whole square. Is that? So here we get root over 7 plus 2 upon 7 minus 4. That will give you 3 in the denominator. Or numerator, we have got root over 7 plus 2. Yes? Got it? Yes, ma'am. So now suppose if I show you something with divide. Suppose divide 8 root over 15 by 2 root over 3. So, how will you do this? 8 root over 15 upon 2 root over 3. Now, see this 8 and 2. 8 or 2 to chalo cancel. Ho hai na? Well, 2 4 da will be 8. 15 can be written as root over 3 and root over 5. Like this. Root over 3 and root over 3 will cancel. 2 and 8 also will cancel. 2 ones are and 2 fours are. So, kya kya rai gya? Bach gya humare paas. We have 4 left here. Okay. We have root over 5 left here. Okay. So, our answer is 4 root over 5. Understood? Yes, ma'am. 
great. These are easy sums. Isn't that you are finding difficult? No, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> what is the time now? 6.40. We have your class till 6.45. So just five minutes are left. I want you to do with the laws of exponents now. Laws. You have done these laws in your class 8 also, I guess. No? Yes. Laws of exponents for real numbers. So it's a small topic. So if we complete it, then you'll be able to do the last two exercises. And tomorrow, then we can start with the new lesson also. Okay, laws of exponents for real numbers. So, see, exponent kya hota hai? Suppose if I have something in the form like this, a raised to power n. So, this is the, the number which is written down is called the base. The number positive power is called the exponent. Right? Whatever is written it can be negative also. So, the power is written, a power is called exponent. So, here we have some four laws here. If I have some number in the form a raised to power n into a raised to power n, so can be written as the base same ho, so powers kya ho jati hai? Add ho jati hai, right? When we are multiplying two numbers with the same base, then the powers will add up. And similarly, and when we have two numbers with the same base, and different powers and we are dividing them. So kya ho jayega? This will be a minus uh, a raised to m by the same. Okay. Obviously yes. m, m will be greater. Since bade me se hi chota minus ho hai. So m has to be greater than m. Okay. Yes. Somebody was asking something. Yes. So this is the third one. Then you have a raised to m and over that you have another power. That means the powers will multiply in this case. Okay. I think this is nothing new or you had all this in your previous class. You had no? a raised to m into b raised to m. When you have different base and the power is same. And in that case what do you do? You multiply the bases and the power remains the same. Okay. Children, are you able to understand this? Yes, ma'am. Uh, so these are the four laws. I think you have done the, have you done the same laws in your class 8? Or were there something different? No, ma'am, they were the same. Same, no? That means it's not difficult. So now let's do some questions based on this. Simplify. And the remaining questions, which I want you to try, okay? For the remaining exercise, that's 1.5 and 1.6 exercise. So for today, your homework will be exercise 1.5 and 1.6. Okay, complete exercise. So you have to complete both these exercise, 1.5 and 1.6. Please note down the homework also. I'll be putting in the WhatsApp group also. Work done me. So if you have power, say, 2 raised to power 2 by 3, and 2 raised to power 1 by 3. So how do you do this? Based on your identity here. This. When you have same base and the powers are different. What do you do then? 2 raised to 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. This is what you will do. So you will get your denominators are same. That means you will get 3 by 3. And 3 by 3 is nothing but 1. So 2 raised to power 1 is 2. Okay. Okay, children. Yes, ma'am. So, same way you have another question like this. 1 upon 3 raised to power 3 and the whole power 7. Okay, 4 ka power 7. Again. That means whole power is, it is for the numerator also and it is for the denominator. So, this becomes 1 raised to power 7 and 3 raised to 3. And 7 like this. So when you have base and powers are like this, you will apply this identity. Okay. So this 1 raised to power 7 will be 1 only. 1 ki jitni bhi power ho, 1 le to 1 hi rehna hai. Okay. So 7 3 za will be 21. Or jab hum isko reciprocal mein karke likhenge, then we get 3 raised to power minus 21. Isn't that? Okay. Okay. Let's see one more. 
11 raised to power 1 by 2. This is 1 by 2. Upon 11 raised to power 1 by 4. So when you have same base in the numerator and denominator and powers are different, then what do you do? Second identity ki aapki ye wali. This identity follows. Okay. So, so this becomes 11 raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. So in that case, 11 raised to 1 by 2 means 1 by 4 minus here, you get 1 by 4 only. Okay, so this is your answer. Then let's see one more. 7 raised to 1 by 2 into 8 raised to 1 by 2. So when you have different bases and same power, that means your last identity follows. So 7 into 8 is 56 and power is the same for both. So that's 56 raised to 1 by 2. Okay, these questions are simple. Okay, children, have you all understood this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, everyone, anyone has a doubt in this? Exponents, anyone has a doubt? Class 9, speak up something. Ma'am, next class, can you once again explain the laws of exponents? Okay, I'll do that. Okay? Yes, ma'am. So, I'll do that. So, whatever difficulties are there, we'll take up in the next class. And with this, we complete the chapter. Okay? Yes, okay. ma'am. Um, so, after doing with your doubts and all, we will start the next new chapter. Okay? The next chapter is, I think, whatever polynomials are, what is that's polynomials. We'll start with polynomials. Okay, children, thank you for today. Keep practicing. Today's homework is 1.5, 1.6. Complete. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night.